I wanted to start with you first. You're playing such a strong female character who faces a lot of adversity in her career in an industry that's predominantly male. And you've handled that journey with so much nuance. Did you channel any of your own ex personal experiences as you stepped into her shoes? Wow, that Great is question. such a wonderful question. Yeah. Valeria is such an incredible character to play. As an actor, she allowed me to dive in creatively and fill in all the spaces in between. Uh, like you said, she's strong, she's independent, she really can give the boys a run for the money. Uh, and and she has big dreams and aspirations. And I think that is where I connect with her so much is I, I have big dreams and aspirations uh, in my career as well. And it's been really incredible working on a project that is led by three strong independent women. I mean, mm. Nancy and Tiara are incredible role models to me. And, and I feel very blessed and, and lucky. And then Tyler, there's a lot of hostility between Gus and the other characters when he arrives on the ranch. And while he says his motivations for being there is to pave his own path and to set the outside of his family's reputation, you've done a fantastic job keeping audiences guessing. Is Gus the good guy that he's presenting himself to be? What can you tease about his arc and how much fun is it for you to play a character that has everybody guessing? Uh, it's so fun. And Kevin, you think I'm going to tell you <laughs> what his intentions are? Come on. <laughs> You're not going to get it out of me. I, will, <laughs> I would say that I don't think uh, villains in real life know they're villains. So even mm. if his intentions aren't pure, I, I probably wouldn't know that. So I think uh, he it is. Um, yeah, it, it is really fun to play a character that could be uh, completely genuine in his pursuit of uh, wanting to be in this uh, ranch life and the community and Missy and genuinely just wildly infatuated with her and wants to be part of her life. And it could be that he has some uh, side intentions uh, of, you know, uh, other things that I, I, you know, will have to tune in and find out. <laughs> so I don't know how much I can say, <laughs> but, uh, but it is really fun. It is really fun to get to play complex characters. And I think that yeah. was appealing, I'm sure, to all of us that we get to play uh, in this world that has complex, very real life uh, characters. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Great answer. Great teaser. And Jake, this industry has made really slow progress in terms of representation. And so often when you're playing a queer character, the story is centered around trauma or their coming out experience becomes a focal point of the narrative and so much of their identity. But with characters like Tough and projects like Rye, we're seeing a much needed step forward in terms of diversity and inclusion where queer characters can exist in the world and their sexuality is a part of who they are, but not all of who they are. What has it meant for you to play such an integral role in that evolution, especially on a network like Hallmark Channel? Well, Kevin, I give you great credit for having observed that at all. It's definitely what spoke to me most about the role. Um, as far as representation, I had definitely seen a number of opportunities cross my desk that were precisely what you're talking about, uh, feeling more like a stereotype than everything we've worked mm -hmm. so hard to achieve. And when I say we, yeah. I don't just mean the community, I mean, society at large. We've really, really worked hard to integrate queer stories into the entertainment space. And with Tuff, that is, of course, just not the front running characteristic about him. He's yeah. dignified and loyal and hardworking and creative and, and loving. And I think um, I would have been a fool to say no to an opportunity like that. It's been life changing. And then to work with this cast and crew, I couldn't ask for more. It's a fantastic project. And Sarah, you also shot this on location and there's some unpredictability when you're working with animals. How did that setting help elevate your performance and bring that authenticity on screen? I know you shared a funny post on social media about your relationship with the horses. Has that changed <laughs> after filming? Uh, that's a really great question. I actually have a really funny anecdote about my co-star, uh, Nick, the horse, who <laughs> plays Chantico, Val's beloved horse. Um, Nick is a 20 year seasoned professional in this industry in between takes. I was actually in the scene with Jake. Uh, Nick is vocal and sassy and stomping and making noise and a real and prima donna. A real? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as soon as our wonderful director, Paolo, yelled action, he professional hit his mark improv a nose nuzzle on a particularly emotional <laughs> line. And then as soon as we yell cut, 
he's back at his old tricks and and <laughs> a real intuitive artist yeah he yeah. is just a real talent i felt extraordinarily lucky to mm -hmm. waiting for play. an Emmy nod mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's all coming in time <laughs> yeah uh, tyler ride marked your uh, hallmark channel debut did anything surprise you about the experience how does it compare to other projects that you've worked on yeah, it's a fantastic experience. It is very different. Uh, the the community, the sense of community and uh, the kindness, uh, not that other networks and other shows aren't equally kind, but for whatever reason, uh, it's I feel it very from the top down. Mm -hmm. from head of corporate, I mean, all of Hallmark, everybody, the crew, everybody involved in this project, everybody I've met, um, they just sort of lead with kindness. And it's kind of funny because the show, you know, the whole network's about love and hope and positivity. And it's really funny that that is a genuine thing. The company and the people involved genuinely lead with that as well. Mm -hmm. And it's a joy to get to do projects like this, you know, when you get to be uh, a part of a community uh, that are so, uh, so kind and so empathetic and, and such wonderful people on the inside. So it's all, I mean, it's all gravy, you know, the, the show is great, you know, as well, but it's like, yeah. it's oh, icing on the cake, show you know? and we have this much fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 So that, yeah that's the difference. <laughs> That chemistry comes across on the screen too. And Jake, you shared on social media that this cast and family has changed your life. What has made this project so special? And how are you all able to build the bond needed for your characters? Yeah, I mean, I come from a music theater background. So um, Tufts country singing is an enormous opportunity for me. Um, what makes the project special is that we're surrounded by rodeo and ranching and I mean, Hallmark is a place where love stories really happen, and that's been true for our experience as a cast and a crew making the show. And hopefully that'll translate on screen for you as well. But um, from tip to tail, getting to aspire to this beautiful world of, of hard work and, and family values, I mean, what a space to play in. It's been great. Definitely. And this is a question for the group, but the series does such a fantastic job tackling so many universal themes. And I think each audience member will take away something different for each of you as creatives. Was there a theme that hit home uh, for you in particular? <sighs> this way? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, for me, it's the authenticity and it speaks to Tufts being a queer character. It speaks to family coming first. It speaks mm -hmm. to finding the truth and also having empathy for each other's journey to that. We live in a world now that's so quick to accuse and not so quick to forgive. So getting to be part of a story that really practices what it preaches when it comes to that, that's, that's the big thing for me. The authenticity of how that follows through in our workspace as, as well as the, as the plot has been the best part for mm -hmm. me. Yeah, for me, it's the theme of love in its truest form. I mean, we explore love in uh, familial relationship. We explore love in friendship, uh, in community, in love for the earth and one's home, of course, romantic love. And, um, you know, it's, it's just that love is beyond our flaws. Love is beyond our differences. We choose to love every day, and that's what the McMurrays do. Mm. Wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I think, I think, I, what they said. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't say it any better. I, I think, just for me personally, I think it, it is love, but specifically uh, the forever love that the show portrays. The idea that you know these people come and go and have heartbreak and loss, um, and you know tragedy mm -hmm. and all these um, the ups and downs of, of real life, and the show you know continues to support the concept of hey whatever you know if you love somebody you just it, you deal with everything ups and downs and if you're family and you have that familial love you stand the test of time and you stay together and you always support and always love so specifically that type of love uh, i really resonate with uh, that the show uh, portrays mm -hmm.